that'll work. All right. Look. I don't got a knife in my hand. Uh. Chicken breast. It's gonna be seasoned with just some random seasonings. I'll show you in a second. And it's gonna be cooked down in some heavy whipping cream and some spinach. It's gonna smother all the way down. A little bit of cheese. Some roasted red, seasoned roasted red peppers, some broccoli, and that's gonna be dinner tonight. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kay. Mom, and what are we cooking, Mom? We are making, um, we are making, um, oh, <laughs> Oh, we are making um, a chicken with a <laughs> chicken breast. It's going to be seasoned with just some random seasonings. I'll show you in a second. And it's going to be cooked down in some heavy whipping cream and some spinach. It's gonna hey, y'all, and I'm back once again with a Cook with K blooper. Or is this the first time? I don't know. But, yeah, I'm showing off my apron that I got from Party City. It's kind of cheap. I was so excited to get it because um, I couldn't wait for a one off Amazon or Walmart that cost a, a lot. Okay, so this is me showing it off. Hope y'all enjoyed this little blooper. Um, yeah, and more episodes coming y'all way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be posting more and more often with my cheap <laughs> cost, my suit. <laughs> I'm just playing. But no, uh, I should not be playing with knives at this point because. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm clumsy. But yeah, that's a good picture. Look at that. Look at me. I did something. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. I need somebody to take a picture. The red potatoes are cut up. I have a really giant Ziploc bag. And inside, I doused a little bit of olive oil and some ranch seasoning packet. I'm going to add a little bit of coarse sea salt because just a little, add a little, get a little salt flavor. And I'm going to Look at that add the just a tad bit of smoked pepper. Pack people like that smoky taste. Now give it a little bit more color. A little bit of pepper. Just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it all up. Put some more foil on top of the right now. Just so Get it cooked. Oh! I'm feeling so bad. They already saw you. What? Cheek. 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 Some spinach on top. Be fancy. We gonna see how this goes. I don't. Know. I don't know. Cleaned off my chicken. I have it in the pan. Right. I'm gonna put some butter in there. Let it cook on down. How much butter? Half a stick of butter. It all depends on how many pieces of chicken you have. <laughs> oh my. Uh, no. Uh, don't it all depends on how many pieces of chicken you have. Yeah. And a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of smoked paprika. Now, the sauce is primarily supposed to be white, but me, got to add a little bit of color. So, And I love the smoke flavor. If I wasn't going to add smoked paprika, I was going to add some liquid smoke to it. Just because 
Just because. Just because. You know, that's that's how I get down. Also, who would I not be? If you didn't add your favorite seasoning. Mm -hmm. Thumbnail. <laughs> this is by far my favorite seasoning. Who would not be the Yolkanites if we did not add turmeric. Bring it up. Beige. And in the, the garlic. Minced garlic. To be specific. Oh, not add no garlic. I don't want it to be too garlicky. To be specific. I, I couldn't even say it because that garlic got to my nose. I was like, ugh. So, I'm going to be two garlicky. So, these in there. Uh, spinach. She really put two bay leaves in here. Not just one, but two. That's all you need for the flavor, baby. But two. That's all you need for the flavor. And see how it's getting changed the colors? That's what you want because we finna use that to make our sauce too. So once, away. but no, all that's gonna cook down, and then I'm gonna add the heavy whipping cream to. That's what I'm that. saying. Yeah, that with that butter. That's what I'm saying. It's all gonna work out for the good. For the better good. Splashing juices everywhere. Girl, you see, you did. Okay, look. Turn around. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay, that's better. All right, now what are you cutting up? I'm just cutting up a little bit of onions into the dish. A little bit of slither onions into the dish. So right now, as you can see, it's partially cooked. Right now it's partially cooked. And so I'm gonna add the heavy whipping cream so I can cook on down. I'm gonna see if it needs more. So I want it to be, I want it to be creamy. First, it was two uh, sticks of room temperature butter. Then it was some vanilla. Um, I oh, it's supposed to be two cups of sugar, but I don't like our unleavened bread to be too. So I put like uh, one cup of sugar, and then so, and then I put, you blend it all together till it's creamed together, then I put vanilla extract, and I cream it together, and then I add one egg at a time, cream it together, and then I put the heavy whipping cream in, make it all extra, and it's good, and then the two cups of flour. And I keep whipping it, and I'm whipping it, whipping it, because I want it to be very fluffy. And then you can add whatever flavoring that you want to it. But if you're using like pie filling or something like that, you want to make sure that you don't use as much of the 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 filling in there, because it will make your um, bread a little dense. So once I have whipped the, the batter up to my liking, to the consistency that I like. We're gonna add some pie filling. Some of this baking on spray in our pan. Add just a little bit more on top. Just gonna swirl it around just a little bit with the fork. Put it in the oven on 350 and let it bake till it's brown. Have to put foil on it right away. If you don't, what happens is the bread starts shrinking and shriveling up and getting hard. You don't want that. Keep it moist. Put a little bit of butter in the skillet, then cook, season the chicken, and cook it on both sides, and then add all the sauce. 
So good. Really so creamy. The meat and, and the bread. Mm -hmm. I forgot the cheese on mine as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course it's good because mm -hmm. I made it. Well, look, this is hot. I know y'all gonna let me try this. I am the trier. If y'all don't let me fulfill my offer on cooking with K as a trier, I quit. <laughs> That's your office? Mm hmm Consistency to it, you know? It's nice, hot. But of course, anything when it comes out the oven, it's gonna be soft. Mm hmm So give it an hour. And I'll try it again in an hour to see if it's still soft. Cause it's soft as hell right now. It's good. Let me see, I gotta make sure it's right for everybody. This is an empty, so empty is always like this. Now cut it into a triangle, so it's always like that. Give him what it's supposed to get. Come on, give it here. I'm done. What? Okay, the lost little face like this. Back up. Ah! Uh, yeah. Just, 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 just go. 